Hey everybody, I don't know who needs to hear this message, but I do believe somebody is viewing right now and you need to hear what I'm about to say because the Lord just dropped something into my spirit as I was just uh, praying and seeking the Lord and that is simply this. We're all fighting some pretty heavy duty spiritual battles and I do say spiritual because that's exactly what they are. We are not fighting against flesh and blood according to the, the Apostle Paul in chapter Ephesians chapter 6. We're fighting against demonic strongholds that's what it comes down to and so regardless of what you're going through right now there's a lot of heaviness there's a lot of there's a lot of battles taking place right now there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of strife there's a lot of envy there's a lot of all kinds of you know demonic uh, uh, onslaught from hell that is coming against God's people today and what the Lord put upon my heart to share with you right now very quickly is simply this the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, Having done all, what? Stand. Having done all, stand. In other words, when you've done everything that you know to do, you've prayed, perhaps you've even fasted as the Holy Spirit is leading. You've prayed, you've, you, you've confessed the Word of God, you've declared His promises, you know, you've maintained your faith, you've maintained your spirit, your heart, your attitude, your character, you've, you've, you've done all the right things that you know what to do. And Paul says, when you've done all of that, he says, stand. He says, stand therefore in, 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 the, in the liberty that you have in Jesus Christ. Do not become entangled again, Paul said, in the affairs of this life, in the yoke of bondage. And so in other words, you, you make your stand, you, you, you stand firm, you stand planted in Christ. Because he is the anchor under your feet. He is the, he's the foundation of your life. Hallelujah. And so the enemy cannot defeat you. He can certainly uh, uh, affect you. He can put thoughts in your head. He can, he can bring wounds in the battle. He can bring discouragement. He can try to bring even confusion and all of those other things that come from the pit of hell. But he cannot defeat you, glory to God, when you simply make up your mind that I'm going to stand. Hallelujah. I don't have all the answers, I don't know what's ahead, but I do know that the victory is mine, glory to God, the battle is the Lord's, faith overcomes uh, the, 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 the world, the enemy, the devil, his lies, his schemes, his assaults, his, his, uh, his attack against me in every way, and I'm just simply going to stand and I'm going to trust the Lord to bring me through, glory to God. I'm not going to fall, I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to waver, and I'm not going to quit. That is the declaration that you have to make when you are under attack, as there is much attack going on today, like probably never before in the church. And so just simply declare Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13. Lord, I have done all and now I stand. Stand. And you're going to see the battle turn. You're going to see the victory come forth in great measure, great power, great authority great favor and great blessing in your life as you simply choose to stand, to not quit, not give up, not turn back, not lay down. No, no friends, stand in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye for now.